We didn't talk much about outboard engines, but I think we should a lot more. This channel was never just about cars, and these units are not less interesting than motorcycle or automobile powerhouses. They are just different, as the usage of them also differs, so they are built a bit differently. <laughs> Yamaha 425 V8 This engine started its path as an automobile engine using Volvos. It only has a 60 degree V angle, making it very compact, and besides that, it also uses reverse flow heads. This means that the intake is from the outside and exhaust is inside the V. It used the same block as the Volvo engine, but the cylinder dimensions were enlarged for both the 5.3 and 5.6 litre version. Hartley V8 This Hartley V8, made from Hayabusa engines, is something you won't see often on a vessel, but can be pretty useful if a power to weight ratio is considered. As you can see, it has as many horses as the Yamaha V8, but weighs a third of it and rails twice as higher. The crankcase is made of a billet aluminium and there is also a dry sum system. Mercury Varado 400 Mercury makes two very strong engines for outboard applications. 250 to 450 horsepower V8 and 350 to 400 horsepower supercharged straight sixes. This inline engine is quite a bit smaller volume-wise as a six-cylinder, but does not encounter lack of power at all. Customers of such sporty performance boats like snappy throttle response, which was achieved by calibration of throttle and electronic boost control. PPRE26B Seeing a 4 order always makes me think of the 787B and Medmike. This was built by Pulse Performance Racing Engineering and was mounted into a jet sprint boat for racing. It is turbocharged, has almost 900 pound feet of torque and uses methanol as fuel. These guys are the ones who built a 6 rotor in a Mazda RX-4. <laughs> Quincy was a machinery company based in Quincy, Illinois, led by a man called O.F. Kristner. This guy was known for his innovative creatures in outboard industry, making one of the coolest and fastest racing engines. This six-cylinder has a huge trumpet in the back as an exhaust and uses a 60-degree time crankshaft like in a four-stroke V12. <laughs> Mercury Varado 450 
This 450 version of the Mercury V8 was simply created by slapping a 2.4 litre twin screw supercharger unit on top of a 300. It is about 13% heavier, but still a hefty 42% lighter than the Yamaha's powerhouse. The supercharger is water cooled and equipped with an intercooler. Mercedes OM606. This legendary diesel unit is definitely not an outboard power plant, most certainly not meant from the factory, but if those dedicated outboard engines like Yamaha or Mercury seem expensive to you, a reliable big boy like this one may do the work. Especially if equipped with a turbo, it won't be just reliable, but also fast enough. <laughs> Avenue Johnson V8. I have to admit that I have quite a bit of a soft spot for this two-stroke V8. The fact that someone actually produced an engine like this is fascinating and very rare. It's not that new like any of these previous engines, but having about 300 horsepower from a screaming 8000 rpm two-stroke is a song to my ears. 